Hi, I came up with this project because I wanted to find an easier way to work on my Lorance fish finder when I was changing the settings or retrieving data from it. And standing out there in the garage working on the kayaks of the boat got kind of uncomfortable, so I wanted to find a way that I could do it in the house. So what I came up with is this ACDC 12 volt, 3 amp maximum voltage adapter. And it plugs right into the wall and it has a two female pin connector on the other side. So what I did was I made a connector cord that goes from the back of this voltage source to the pin connectors of the Lorance fish finder. And as you can see, everything works really well, so I can change all the settings. Of course, all the readings you get out in the field don't work. Uh, the total cost for all the parts was about $27. It could have been a lot cheaper. Uh, if I didn't buy the power source and just use a 12 volt battery, but I really didn't want to drag that into the house. So now that you've seen it working, I'll get to how I got here. Here's a breakdown of the parts I'm going to be using. For the power adapter, it's going to be this Rhino Universal AC adapter. It's 3 amps maximum, and it adjusts to several different voltages, and I'm going to be using the 12 volt setting right here. I'm also going to be using these Molex 0.062 inch series female and male plugs uh, for the pins in the back of the uh, 12 volt adapter as well as the pins on the back of the Lorance unit. And then here I've just chosen some leftover 20 gauge marine black and red wire that I'm going to use to connect it all up. Now here's my Lorance that I'm going to be using. It's an Elite 5 Chirp. And if you look around in the back here, you see the power plug right there. Now I'll show you the diagram that I got off Lorance's website. And the only two you need to worry about are these two larger ones right here and here. This is number seven and this is number eight. And they're larger than the other pins and that's your plus in and your negative pins. So those are the only ones you need to worry about just to do the testing of the unit. This is the pin diagram on the back of the Lorance fish finder. This is for the blue power connector pin setup. Now if you look, what I've done on the back of the unit there, there's that little notch and directly below it is pin number seven and that's your positive 12 volts in. And then to the left of it there is your negative 12 volts in to the unit. Now they're easy to distinguish from the other pins because they're both a little bit larger in diameter. I didn't number the other pins because they weren't necessary. So these are the ones that you're going to need to hook up your female connectors to. Okay, so this is the female end of the 12 volt adapter. And if I zoom in here, let's see if you can see it. You see the two pin connections. right there. The top male pin is going to plug into the back of the 12 volt power source cord and the lower female pin is going to plug into the back of the power pins of the Lorance fish finder. Okay so this is how the connections look when they are all done and ready to be connected to both the back of the Lorance unit and then the power supply. This is what the connections look like on the back of the Lorance unit on the power pin port, as you can see there, where they're connected. And then if you go down here, this is what my connection looks like for the 12 volt power source. So that's it for this project. If you have any questions, just leave them for me in the comments section. Thank you.